Welcome back to Let's Play Lufia. Um, this is my second attempt to record this video because the specter of ZS Nest crashing my entire computer has reared its ugly head again. So, uh, keep your fingers crossed. Let's hope for the best. Uh, last time I told a really long and overblown version of an anecdote about my brother's efforts to buy a new car. Uh, which I might tell that anecdote again later. But I'm not going to tell it right now because it managed to pretty much dominate an entire video when I just told it in a really long-winded way before. And no, Yeoman killed Lufia. I need to not allow that to happen. There's nothing here that can kill me quite as quickly and efficiently as a Yeoman can, so... Although I can certainly take forever to kill these enemies, also. You have to keep, bear in mind, folks, when I'm using frame skip and have, like, the turbo, uh, I guess it would be A on an SNS controller, I'm not even sure, button selected, uh, stuff should be dying really quickly. If it doesn't, it means that my characters are wasting lots and lots of turns not finishing off the enemies. But here we've got a yeoman to deal with, so let's make sure he dies fast. Oh, I really should have used boost off camera, shouldn't I? Oh, good. That worked out pretty well. I know from the last video, which, as I said, destroyed my computer. Um, in the last video that you were not able to see, that is that, um, this is a pretty small and straightforward sort of dungeon. And, um, but it's full of yeoman, which I hate. Oh, I was close-ish. There's no particular reason to go up those other stairs, because they lead to the same place that this leads. Which is the second highest level of this tower. Which the SNS doesn't want load. And I was ambushed. Ambushed by Halloweens. Uh, up here on this higher level of the tower, we'll, we will find that there is a ideal leveling spot, if I ever want to level off camera again. Which I might as well visit. The, you see the stairs there in the, uh, in the corner? That's where I would have come up if I went through the stairs on the floor below. And, uh, this is the top level where a miracle can be found. But only if ZSNS loads the screen. I'm gonna steal your miracle without even talking to you, old man. Because I'm a jerk. Now I'm gonna wander up behind you. So we can see your awesome backside. I'm Flake! <laughs> of course you're Flake. You live by yourself in a tower. You know about that? Feel the energy... Feel the electricity as the rock enters. Strong power, I sense great ability. You see through... Oh, sorry. You see through avatars, character, more people are... The people are always more than they to be. Tur, tur, tur. Agoro, don't be rude. What you, Agoro, be rude if Goro want to. More importantly, who removed the magic barrier to the village? I did, Pops. You got a problem with that? You must have great skill to remove such a barrier. Come here. All right, Pops, you can look, but don't touch. Your powers will grow. I sense much potential. Really? I love making Lufia needlessly sarcastic. Oh yes, but you've only begun to understand. Let me help you. Close your eyes. Open your mouth and close your eyes. I will give you a big surprise. All right. Awake, I call upon those powers yet untouched. Come forth. Woo. Lufia's maximum MP increased by 10. Wow, folks. Lufia had more maximum H or MP than we realized. This Surely this will be secret revelation about Lufia that we get for the entire game. Wow. Magic increased. It's not my power. She's always had it. I simply drew it out. 
I had no idea it was there. You learned through battle. That's the hard way. Had you studied, you'd have discovered it earlier. I can make doors open for you, honey, but only if you can do things for me. I can't thank you enough. How about a Hickory Farms gift box? We might see the return of Deus. Deus. Daylight come and we want to go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. Okay, it turns out we have to go back to the lab to see what's on the slab. Because we managed to somehow miss Dr. Shaila. I am going to do something experimental now. Uh, the game keeps crashing when I go to Professor Shaila's magical, whatever you want to call it, place. So, uh, and when it crashes, the sound always crashes. So this might not help at all. But I am going to see what happens if I just uh, kill the sound. See if that makes things a little more stable. Uh, not escape warp. And uh, apologies for the fact that you're not going to be able to hear the sound if I do this, because the sound of this particular place is like the coolest sound in the game. But um, if this stops everything from crashing horribly, I think it's worth it. I've got a lot more time left in the video than I did before. Uh, I've managed to do a lot less wandering around, being an idiot, not knowing where to go. Hey, don't touch anything without asking. Uh, the other day a man touched a machine that turns people into frogs. That was a tough one. Wh what happened to him? Too bad that I made a new frog to people machine, but he came back as a snake instead. Hmm. Snake? Do you want me, snake? Then he became a lizard. Uh, that was a reference to uh, Mel Gear Solid, if you, uh, you know, have no idea why. So then went, Snake! In a super creepy voice. Did he ever return to normal? Nope. I mean, oh, yes. After three days, I said, I never want to see a lizard's face as long as I live. Ha, ha, ha. You're a wacky funster, old man, but we're going to have to kill you to stop you from torturing anyone else. Excuse me, who are you, anyway? You don't look like my lab students, and, uh, you certainly don't look like people who are here to be turned into lizards by my machines, which do shit that can't happen in real life. I'm Abtur. These are my friends, Goro, Jaren, and last, but definitely least, Lufia. Smack. We're looking for a Yulishaya. Would that be you? Oh, no way. I mean, yes, it would. I am the genius for Yulishaya. Why the face? You don't believe me, is that it? Or are you angry at me because I have completely failed in the raising of my son? No, no, of course not. But, all right, I'll prove it to you. I will turn you all into lizards. Wait right here. He's a wacky funster. Folks. How about this tonic? With this, you'll have four arms. Be twice as strong. Well, no, I don't think so. No, I've already run experiments on this. I've already injected it into you. You did? On who? The oh, Goro want four arms. Let's see. You're Jaren, right? For you. Don't ignore Goro question. Ignoro angry. Ignoro. <laughs> Sorry. This is perfect. It's guaranteed to make your hair grow. Really? Well, maybe I could try. Why would you want... Ignoro, do you want, like, chest hair? Are you disappointed that your, uh, young elven bosoms aren't growing hair? Don't you dare. I see. You won't like it if my hair looks better than yours. Ha, ha, ha. Shut up. I mean, even if you try, my hair will still be longer. Isn't that right, Avatar? Actually, I kind of like uh, the Bob. You know, that cute boyish look. That I Can't you tell? Where are your eyes anyway? I'm not always looking at your hair. <laughs> hey, Avatar, Lufia, what are you two talking about? Oh, I'm going confused. All right, we're not here to talk about hair. Well, why do you think I came here, Avatar? We're on a quest for hair care products. We're here for a ship that goes under the sea. It's better down where it's wetter under the sea. Oh, you mean Falcon, one of my best inventions. Falcon makes your hair grow, turns you into a lizard, and goes under the sea. And Falcon can really travel underwater? No, I mean, yes, it can also fly through the air. Wow, so it's a generic airship? Where is it? It's docked in the basement. I normally don't show it to anyone. However, I'll let you see it. Rock! I'm just sad that we can't hear the sound. I'm, I, this might not be helping at all, folks, but, um... Hey, the video's almost over. We haven't crashed yet. It's, you know, this is better than nothing. Just a second, I'll open the door. He's going to open the door, folks. This is Falcon. Isn't she amazing? Avatar, this ship is covered with dust. And the wings are a little chipped. 
Oh, shut up, girls. Uh, when we come back, folks, the chicks are going to complain about a freaking all-powerful submarine airship because it's dusty. Uh, what girls complain to? Anyway, we'll be back.